to like my mood i finally get to record this i wanted to record a few days ago but of course delays delays anyways we're doing a series review even though a series premiere review even though i didn't watch it whatsoever because i just can't do it <clears throat> anyways we're talking about clifford the big red dog the freaking series that came out in 2020 previously for people who don't know clifford the big red dog got his first actual thing even though i most likely might be predated but anyways i'm just gonna say what i know Clifford actually got his first show in 2001 or 2000. Either way, if there's something before that, you can go eat a pillow. <laughs> it's like, you could just take his book and start eating. Chowing down right now. Chowing down a book. Chow down on that book. But anyways, being correct, hopefully. Clifford actually started in 2000, and sadly, within a year, his freaking voice actor died. Son of a big. And for years upon years, I freaking just kept on ranting on him and beating the shit out of him because he sucked ass. He was freaking cursed a calorie dog. I was useless. Useless bangs. Ugh. You big, stupid, dumbass dog. Clifford, the big, dumb, fat ass dog. <laughs> I hate Clifford, the big, dumb dog. It's like, yeah, I just kept on beating the shit out of him until a decade plus later, I find out that, oh, his voice actor died. And y'all guys didn't tell us this? It's like, you told us when Mr. Rogers passed away, but Clifford? No, fuck that. Yeah, um, I would have rather, it's like, how come you didn't do it? It's like, come on, Arthur had three people voice acting him. You're telling me you couldn't find someone else and it's like, okay, forget it. There we go. New person for Clifford. Let's continue on. Freak it. It's like if <laughs> if shows did the same thing you just did right now, I'm pretty sure there's many shows that would have been already canceled. I think SpongeBob still would freaking them live, son of a big, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would have got canceled, the previous one, not the newest one. Because, well, jerk bag who actually did something with a pie. Kids, don't look that up. <laughs> but hopefully, thank goodness, kids are not watching this, so we're good. But I'm like, yeah, don't look that up. But yeah, that jerk bag actually just left. I'm like, what the fuck? And he didn't do anything for m years on years until, oh, he's on a sitcom. Oh, it took you that many times in your dumbass project. <laughs> Freak you. Anyways, so then we get Clifford's Puppy Days. And then after Clifford's Puppy Days, they did do one somewhat 3d version of it and that was maybe a pilot that didn't do so well of course when it came to me watching it, i'm like i'm pretty sure it only showed once on tv <laughs> yeah while well, the arthur one too it's like arthur even got a freaking updated version of itself and it's like pretty sure they only saw watched show it two times on tv <laughs> you know? oh my gosh it i didn't even get to see it like <laughs> oh well anyways they finally got a brand new clifford the big red dog of course it's different from the original uh, previous one because there is no um crap i know t-bone and cleo cleo t-bone mackie of valley jetta um the Caribbean dude that served some good food, his son, um, every single character you know from that series, pretend this is a freaking um board game, and I flip the table. They're all gone. There is no one there anymore. And oh, their freaking um library is now actually floating on a boat. <laughs> so what's going on now is that Clifford and Ellen and Emily Elizabeth are now imagining stuff together and they sing. And I'm like, yeah, no thanks. And she can understand Clifford. Clifford can speak now and she can understand him. And peace out. <laughs> <coughs> I'm pretty sure Speckle's gone too. But yeah, so this is just nothing but an even more washed down version of Clifford the Big Red Dog. No actual stories, it's just some fun make believe in songs. It's not for me, but I bet it's for everyone else. It's like there's so many others. Like, for instance, if you like Frozen or Frozen 2, good for you. You, you will like this. If you like all the Disney movies, this is for you. You might actually like it. Me, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like I watched it for three minutes and I just said, no, I'm not going to sit through this whole entire thing and they're going to be singing and crap. No, okay, I am not going to put my th myself through this, okay, no. 
So for me, it's like, I'm not going to say it's a don't watch. I'm going to say it's just not my cup of tea. That's how I'm going to do things is that I'm not going to slam something because I don't like it because it's not for me. But it's most likely for someone else out there. It's just not for me. But I'm glad Clifford actually gets a second chance in here. I think while actually looking, he's actually on episode nine. And note, the episodes actually go, oh yeah, episodes actually go 20 minutes actually. So that's good. So it's good. I have no idea where it is. Let me, let me look. Let me look. Did PBS actually do the right thing? Let's see. I'm going to check right now to see if PBS did the right thing and actually put it on, which most likely no, it's my on the other one. Oh, wait, here it is. No. <laughs> yeah, because I'm looking right now. Clifford the Big Red Dog, the original one is actually on at 6 o'clock a.m. Oh, they put Arthur back where he belongs. I'm not going to watch you. Freak you, Arthur. You, 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 your writers did something horrible. You touched my no-no. <laughs> it's like your writers touched my no-no. I am not going to let you do crap to me. You're not going to do crap. No, no, we're done here. It's like you freaked over. You burn this bridge. I'm not going to cross this bridge with you. Just like that one freaking um, adaptation of hmm, Shakespeare Uncovered the greeks wow they cut stuff it's like yeah i know they cut stuff but holy frick really <laughs> and i have no idea where it's the kids channel on this so i'm just gonna give up but still it seems to me that it's not on their main channel could it be on the other channel yeah because they don't even give bob the builder back in the original channel and Thomas and Tanya was on the original channel. So it's like, yep, they just said, frick you. <laughs> they just said, frick you to the series. So it looks like Clifford might be on there, might not be on there. I'm not sure, but I do wish them well. It's like after beating the holy frick out of his freaking show for so long and not knowing it's just because the dude died, even though it's like you can replace the dude. You can replace the dude. I don't care if he changes the freaking damn voice. Just as long as you continue on. It's like just getting rid of it. It's like Martha Speaks. It's like Martha Speaks seems like a good show. And then all of a sudden they just completely stopped. Their gas just went. And the most likely some kind of crap that later on it's like, oh, it's this. And I'm like, oh, man, that sucks. But I wish this show well. I do wish it well. I do hope this time around you're not going to have this crap of the freaking person voice Clifford died and then they cancel it. It's like, <clears throat> I was going to say how, oh crap, it could be a curse. But it's like, oh crap, the curse of voicing Clifford. But the puppy Clifford's safe, I think. And the other one who actually did the 3D version of it, I think him, he's safe. So it's like, maybe it was just him. Let's just hope. <laughs> Let's just hope. Because if there is a curse, I'm going to be like, okay, stop the presses. Okay. No one makes another Clifford show. If you do, the voice of Clifford might die in some way, shape, or form. I think the Grim Reaper has a vendetta with Clifford for some reason. Even worse than I do. <laughs> it's like, what the frick? What? Why the voice? Why the freaking Crypt Keeper? Why the freaking Grim Reaper has a freaking problem with Clifford? And he'll he'll cut you he will kill you and cut you down if you voice clifford and i'm gonna be like oh what the freak and it was like mm, who do i dislike and actually can give the voice clifford <laughs> it's like oh my gosh who you hate the most mm, how about the president of voice chucky <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, hey, come here a minute. <laughs> it's like, come here a minute. Would you like to do a mini series? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm I I'll just <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, 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 no. I shouldn't get the president who voice him. I should get the freaking dude who's actually doing all this crap. I need to get Don Mancini who's like, sure, I'll voice Clifford. Oh, damn it. <laughs> he was like, oh, thank goodness the Grim Reaper saved me. Hallelujah. No more of this crap of this dumb Charles Lee Ray bastard. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> Comfort, you did good. Good dog. Good dog. No, no. Thou do, doggy. Thou do. <laughs> Freaking dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. It'll be the it'll be the cartoon version of Macbeth. <laughs> the cartoon version of Macbeth, but even worse. It's like how many how many how many episodes do you have to do to activate the curse? That's a good question. What how many episodes do you have to do to make the curse? If I can make it a mini series, will that matter? <laughs> it's like it, it will it matter if I make it a mini series or do I have to actually make it like 30 episodes? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god let me just say i'm just joking i'm pretty sure there's no curse with clifford the big red dog but i'll just say one thing is that if there is a curse on clifford the big red dog i think people need to stop voicing clifford the big red dog but i really hope this show does well and Sorry for that messed up, funny, horrible, dark part. <laughs> All right, just walk out of the room and enter like you're at work. Hello! No, no! 